Once again, this is the graph of equation x squared minus y minus three equals to zero. From this graph, we can easily tell that it is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. This means that this left side of the graph and the right side of the graph are mirror images with respect to the y-axis. So we might ask, what kind of property does this equation have that its graph has this symmetry? If you recall how we used the point plotting method to sketch this graph, we started with plotting several solution points and then connect these points with a smooth curve. If we examine these solution points, we can notice that there's some relationship between them. Negative 3, 6 and positive 3, 6. Negative 2, 1 and positive 2, 1 negative 1, negative 2, and positive 1, negative 2. Do you see that for every point x, y that is on the graph, its mirror image, the point negative x, y must also be on the graph. This means that it doesn't matter if the x value is positive or negative, as long as they have the same absolute value, their corresponding y value is always the same. In fact, we can use this property to test if a graph of an equation is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Let's use this equation again as an example. Since, as we discussed, positive or negative x value should correspond to the same y value, then it shouldn't matter if we substitute the x in the original equation with negative x. And then, after rearrangement, we should get the same equation back and that indicates symmetry about the y-axis. Let's look at another equation. And let me sketch it using the point plotting method again. I first calculate a couple of solution points, plot the points on the Cartesian plane, sketch a smooth curve, and we can see that this graph is symmetric about the x-axis. The top half and the bottom half are mirror images with respect to the x-axis. And when we further analyze its solution points, we notice that for every point x, y that is on the graph, the point x negative y must also be on the graph. This means that it doesn't matter if the y value is positive or negative, as long as they have the same absolute value, their corresponding x value is always the same. And again, we can use this property to test if the graph of an equation is symmetric with respect to the x-axis. Let's use this equation again as an example. Since positive or negative y value should correspond to the same x value, then it shouldn't matter if we substitute the y in the original equation with negative y. And after rearrangement, we should get the same equation back and that indicates symmetry about the x-axis. Before we talk about the next kind of symmetry of a graph of equation, let's first introduce the concept of symmetry about a point, since many students might not be familiar with it. If there's an image, and we want to find its mirror image about a point, what do we do? Let's imagine this image, the boot, is connected to this point by rigid strings. Now, let's rotate this entire system about this point by 180 degrees. It actually doesn't matter if the rotation is clockwise or counterclockwise because you will get the same image back. And now, these two boots are mirror images about the red point. And this entire image is symmetric about the red point. Now let's look at another equation. And I'll sketch it again by first calculating a couple of solution points, plot the points on the Cartesian plane, sketch the smooth curve, and this graph is symmetric about a point, the origin. When we look at the solution points, we notice that for every point x, y that is on the graph, the point negative x, negative y must also be on the graph. And this can be used to test if the graph of an equation is symmetric with respect to the origin. Like this equation, 
since the y value will change sign with the x value, then if we substitute the x in the original equation with negative x and we substitute the y in the original equation with negative y as well, and after rearrangement, we should get the same equation back. And this indicates symmetry about the origin. And of course, there are equations like this one that don't follow any of the algebraic rules we mentioned earlier. And if we sketch the graph of this equation, we can see that it is not symmetric about any line or point. And some graphs, like the graph of a circle, the equation of which will be discussed in the next video, it's symmetric about the x-axis, the y-axis, and the origin. Now please answer the following questions.